What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. And today, man, I'm going to talk about the trade you had the New York Giants sending Eli Apple to the New Orleans Saints for a 2019 fourth round pick and a 2027 round pick, man. First off, as far as when it goes for the New Orleans Saints, I mean, it's a good pickup for them, man. I know they much preferred to have Patrick Peterson, but I felt like with the fact of them not having a first round pick next year, you know, by um giving up their next year's first to Green Bay to move up to take Marcus Davenport, you know, I don't think I don't think Arizona won nothing less than a first round pick for Patrick Peterson, especially if Oakland could have get a first rounder for Amari Cooper. And I mean, a fourth and a seven ain't bad for like a a decent corner, man. I mean, Eli Apple was a a top ten pick. Even though people felt like the Giants might have reached a little bit to take him, you know, he was a top 10 pick. You know, he still was a projected first rounder. You know, he um he actually had a decent rookie year for them. And last year, man, like, you know, he didn't have the greatest year last year. You know, they talked about his attitude. You know, late in the year, Landon Collins came out and said he was a cancer to the locker room and stuff like that. But, I mean, that whole thing is just a dumpster fire in New York, man. I mean, last year, this year, like, it's it's a dumpster fire up there. So it's hard to really, you know, judge a person's, you know, how they act. I mean, I understand, like, some people, you know, the great people, they're going to be professional and they're going to be classy regardless of the situation. But, like, you know, some people, it's human nature, man. When you're in a mess, you're not going to be as motivated to play or you ain't or you want to get your way out of there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he's a solid pickup for the Saints, man. And um, he's much better than Ken Crowley out there, who's been absolutely straight garbage for them, man. I ain't lying, man. I thought Jalen Mills was bad. But, like, this dude, Ken Crowley, him and Jalen Mills, man, they could shake hands, man. They, I love to see a competition between them or who actually works at cornerback right now, you know. But, um, yeah, they get him, man. He's long. He's rangy. He has long arms. You know, then you're going to pair him up with his former college teammate in Marshawn Lattimore. You know, and they got Von Bell back there, which they got damn near all Ohio State secondary. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ohio State for putting out good NFL product. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, as far as for the New York Giants, man, I mean, you know, they're, they're dumpster fire right now, man. You know, you got a guy who... You know, two top 10 draft picks, man. Eric Flowers was the number nine overall pick. You know, he's like, I think he's in Jacksonville now. They had to rate, wave him. Eli Apple, who was a, the number 10 overall pick, you basically got rid of him. You got a fourth round and a seventh round back for him. Eric Flowers, you don't get nothing back for him, man. I mean, you know, it looked like they hit with Saquon Barkley, and obviously they hit with, like, Odell and... Evan Ingram looks solid and stuff like that, man. But they're a dumpster fire up there in New York, man. Like, they one and six, man. Until they go out there and get a quarterback next year, this thing ain't going to get no better, man. You know, you know what I'm saying, for them. But for the Saints, man, it's a good move for them, man. I mean, right now, you know, I hate to say it as an Eagles fan, the Saints and the Rams are like the class of the NFC right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Um... They got a big matchup with the Vikings Sunday night. Maybe the Vikings might have something to say about that. But, um, yeah, man, you know, good pickup for the Saints, getting Eli Apple, uh, a solid starting cornerback, you know what I'm saying, to pair up with the, the you know, the all-pro corner on the other side, man. You know, but, um, yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give your boy a subscribe, man. I'm going to have NFL content throughout the season, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.